Welcome back. Well, Governor Ron DeSantis today called for a crackdown on violent and disorderly protesters, increasing punishments and excusing drivers who kill or injure protesters with their cars if they are feeling or fleeing or fleeing for safety from what they he called a mob. NBC6 reporter Tony Pipitone found defenders of civil liberties have major issues with the governor's proposed laws. Citing images like these, aired repeatedly on right-wing cable TV shows, Governor Ron DeSantis today lashed out yeah, yeah, against yeah, violent and disorderly uh, protesters. Thank you. And you didn't see the type of disorder here in the state of Florida that you did uh, throughout many other parts of the country. Um, but I think we need to do more. His plan? You topple a monument up to 15 years in prison. Obstruct traffic as part of an unpermitted disorderly protest? Up to five years in prison. Democrats called the announcement, flanked by sheriffs along the I-4 corridor, a distracting political stunt to reinforce President Trump's campaign messaging. The ACLU called it an attack on the First Amendment. These activities are already illegal within Florida. What he is trying to do is not create new crimes. He's trying to be harsher, and he's trying to create more incentives for people to stay home and not protest their government. One especially dangerous provision, she said, would remove liability for drivers who kill or injure protesters if the drivers are fleeing for safety from a mob. My fear is that individuals who hear about this proposal from the governor will feel that they have the right to attack those who are peacefully protesting in the streets. The white supremacist who mowed down protesters, killing one in Charlottesville in 2017, argued unsuccessfully at trial he did it because he was scared. But that was not among the images DeSantis cited today. But we've seen these, uh, these images throughout different parts of the country. And um, when you have rubble left over, like we saw in Kenosha, Wisconsin, a uh, perpetual state of lawlessness like we see in Portland or Seattle, uh, total destruction that we saw in Minneapolis. No one asked the governor if he was exaggerating what's happened in those cities. But he said Florida cities or counties that do not adequately fund police or quell disorderly protests will be punished financially. We are not going to permit localities to defund the police. If you defund the police, then the state is going to defund any grant or aids coming to you. I am baffled by this portion of the governor's statements and proposed bill because local governments should have and should and do have every right to reallocate their budgets to reflect the needs of their community. The governor, though, said that will be for the state to decide. If you know, if you have a tough budget year and you do cuts, it is what it is. But if you single out disproportionately uh, reducing uh, law enforcement or cutting back law enforcement funding, that's when that's when this would de detach. Tony Pipitone, NBC Six News.